Hey, Don the Idea Guy back again for 31 Days of Ideas. This is day 17, and today I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, ideas for getting results from your projects faster. Uh, wouldn't you like to know whether a project was going to succeed or fail more quickly than it takes you to find out now? Um, wouldn't you like to make more money off of your project now than uh, faster than you did before? Wouldn't you like to know uh, what to do, uh, what what steps to put into place, what, what features and benefits and services that you can put out there uh, to get better results from your efforts? I think so, right? So here's the trick. Uh, all you have to do is before you start, know what you want out of it. Before you start anything, before you start a business, before you launch that website, before you begin writing an article, before you pick up the phone to call a prospect, before you uh, write your next email, before you film your next video, uh, before you tweet your next tweet or snap your next chat, uh, know what you want to have happen as a result of taking that action. Okay, so if you want um, to grow your mailing list, the things you do should lead towards growing the mailing list. You can't uh, put an article out there and then hope that uh, you make money off of it and yeah, I want to grow my list and uh, I'm going to use that to introduce a new product. It, that's too many things. There's one particular thing that you want to have happen as a result of doing what you're doing, you need to define that clearly in your mind before you create the article, before you create the uh, video, before you begin the website. And here's why. If you know that you want to grow your mailing list, your email list, and get more signups as a result of writing blog posts, then the things you put into your blog post should lead towards building your email list. Let me explain. So if you, if you want people to sign up for your list, then something in your in your uh, blog article, something in the email that you send out, here's a great example. So if you're writing a blog post, you want to grow your email list, then something in that blog post should trigger a requirement, a need, uh, an urgent desire on behalf of the reader to sign up for your list. Uh, in the case of articles, uh, it might be bonus content. You know, hey, I have another 500 words on this topic, or I put together a quick checklist about this, or I have a list of vital resources to be more successful with whatever you were writing about. And all you have to do to get that list is sign up for uh, this mailing list. All you have to do is enter your email address here, and it will be instantly sent to you on the wings of internet doves, right? Now, same same desire, you wanna grow your email list, but now you're writing an email. These people are already on your list. How are you gonna grow your list from sending out emails? If you know in advance that's what you wanna do, you're gonna put triggers and things in there to get the readers, the, to get your uh, current list members to share it with people they know that would be good additions to your mailing list. So you're gonna to wanna to have things in that, uh, in that email that make your readers look smarter, uh, something cool and new that they can share on, on Facebook, etc., cetera, and uh, make it real easy to link back to an article, to make it real easy to link back to a sign-up form so whoever they sent it to can sign up for your list and get whatever cool thing it was to. Make sense? All right. So uh, Stephen Covey said it better than I did in the uh, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, and that is begin with the end in mind. Too many people think that is the end of my life rather than just the end of this step. You know, what do you want to have happen when you finish the article? What do you want to have happen when you hit post? And if you think clearly, clearly about that before you, uh, before you exert the effort to produce it, it will positively change the thing you're doing and make it more effective and make it better at getting the results that you actually want.
That's it for today. Uh, back here tomorrow for another day of 31 Days of Ideas. We'll actually be on uh, day 18. We are past the halfway point, way past the halfway point now, folks. Still have time to cover the topics you want. So if you've got a business challenge, a marketing challenge that you'd like me to do a little brainstorming on, please leave it in the comments below. You know, Tag me in a post. Send me a, a, a tweet. Uh, we can change the names to protect the innocent or guilty. If you have a need to put some ideas into action, let me know and I can give you some resources for that. But uh, give, me some, give me some stimulus, give me some input so I can give you some output. And uh, we'll do this again tomorrow. Visit me at DonTheIdeaGuy.com and of course, subscribe to the uh, YouTube channel so you can get more of these videos.